Where should your eyes be looking for your auditions? Into the camera? Left of the camera? Right of the camera? Up, down, left, right? Which way should you be looking? Well, it actually depends on the individual audition, but there's a really easy way to find out where you should be looking, and I'm gonna tell you how to do that in this video. What's up, my fellow actors? Welcome to the Acting Career Center, here to help you learn the skills you need to break into the film and television industry. My name is Kurt Yu. Thank you so much for spending some time here with me today. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos on acting, auditioning, and career advice every single week. Now, I'm really happy to be back home. Uh, the last couple weeks, I've been making videos out of my hotel room, so it's nice to be back here in my little studio space at home. And some of you may have noticed that I've changed out the poster that's behind me, and some of you may know why. I will be talking about that poster coming up in another video in the next few days. Hey, really quick, if you're brand new here and you haven't downloaded my 10-step audition preparation guide yet, then you can download it for free by going to that link right up there. I call it my audition cheat sheet, and it's my own 10-step audition preparation process that I've used to help me book over 50 movies and television shows, and I've gotten a lot of great feedback from people that have said that it's helped them with their auditions as well. So if you want that for yourself, you can get it by going to that link right up there. All right, let's talk about the topic for today, and that is where should your eyes be looking for your auditions. The reason I'm making this video is because I've gotten a lot of comments in my comment section of YouTube of asking me about where they should be looking for their audition. Should they be looking into the camera or off to the side or what should they be doing? The term that actors use for where they're looking is their eye line. So your eye line would be directly into the camera or your eye line would be off to the right or off to the left. This is a term that's used both for auditions and on set so it's good to get this term kind of in your vocabulary. Like I said in the beginning of this video, it really depends on the specific audition. Sometimes you'll be looking off to the side. Sometimes you will be looking directly directly into the lens. It depends on the audition. And sometimes the casting director will tell you in the audition instructions, especially if it's a self-tape, on where they want you to look. But a lot of times they won't tell you that in the instructions. So where should you look if you don't have it in the instructions? Well, a great way to figure it out for yourself is to ask yourself this question. Where would the character be looking in this scene? Would the character be looking directly into the camera or would the character be looking off to the side? For most movies and television shows, I would say over 95 or 98% of the time, you're gonna be looking off to the side. You're rarely gonna be looking directly into the camera, right? Because think about it, how many times do we watch a movie where the characters are looking directly into the camera? How many times do we watch TV shows where the characters are looking directly into the camera? Very rarely, right? Sometimes it happens, but it is very rare. The majority of the time, the vast majority of the time, we're looking off to the side. So we are talking to a person who's standing next to the camera. And the camera is really there kind of as a third party watching this conversation. The characters in the scene aren't supposed to know that a camera is there, right? So we look off to the side as if we're talking to a person who's standing next to the camera. Now, if you're doing this as a self-tape, then at home you would have your reader, the reader is the person who's saying the opposite lines with you for your audition, you would have your reader standing right next to the camera so you're looking right off to the side and have having this conversation. Now, be careful not to put them too far off to the side because if you're looking too far away, then the camera is seeing too much of your profile. We still want the camera to see most of our face even though we're not looking directly into the lens. That's why I recommend your reader stand right next to the camera so we're looking about maybe 10 to 20 degrees off to the side and the camera can still see most of our face, especially see our eyes for the audition. If you're going in for a live audition in front of the casting director, this is exactly what they will do in the live audition. The casting director will have a reader standing on either side of the camera, right next to the camera. So you'll be doing your audition looking at the reader and not looking directly into the lens. So now let's talk about when you would look directly into the camera. This happens a lot in commercials. Think about it. We see a lot of people in commercials where they're talking directly to the audience, right? So if you have a commercial audition 
and you're the spokesperson for the commercial, then for your audition, you would look directly into the lens of the camera. So it's pretty easy to tell when you get a commercial audition if your character would be speaking directly into the camera because that person is talking directly to the audience. Now, some commercials you're not. Some commercials are filmed like a scene, right? Some commercials you may be talking to an insurance agent or the insurance agent is talking to you and they're showing a scene. And when it's like that, then you would approach it the same way you would for a scene like that's in a movie or in a TV show, you will look directly to the side of the camera about 10 or 20 degrees off to the side and have a conversation with that person in the scene. So what about in film and television auditions? Are there times where you would look directly into the camera? And the answer is yes. And how do you know that? Well, again, ask yourself the question, would my character look directly into the camera? What characters would do that? Well, I can think of a few. What if you're playing the role of a news anchor? News anchors look directly into the camera, don't they? So if I'm auditioning for the role of a news anchor, on a television show or in a movie, then I would deliver the news directly into the camera. Another example would be if in the scene, your character is having a Zoom call or a FaceTime conversation with another character in the scene, then you would look directly into the camera, right? Because they're trying to show the two sides of the Zoom call or the two sides of the FaceTime call. Then you would look directly into the camera and say the lines as if you're talking to the other character. So those are some examples of when your character would look into the camera, in which case you would do your audition directly into the camera as well. Now let's get a little bit more complicated and say what if there are multiple characters in the scene that you're talking to or having a conversation with? Well, in those instances, a lot of times you may have multiple eye lines. So if you're talking to two different characters in the scene, you may put one person on one side of the camera and talk to another person on the other side of the camera. For auditions, this can be difficult because most of the time, in fact, probably all of the time, you only have one reader who's gonna be saying everybody's lines. You don't have three or four people if there are three or four people in the scene. So this can be challenging and it takes a lot of practice. That's why I think it's really important to practice your auditions, not just practice each individual audition that you get, but practice the overall skill of auditioning and practice looking off to the side for multiple eye lines, especially when there are no other people there and you only have the one reader. The way that I do this is I make my reader my eye line for the person who I'm talking to the most in this scene. And then I would use separate eye lines for the secondary or other characters that I talk to once in a while. So if I have my reader standing next to the camera on my right side, then I will have most of the conversation while looking at them. But then when another character says a line that my reader says, I'll have to know that I might have to look over here to listen to that line and to speak to them. And then let's say there are two other characters. I might put them a little off to this side and then a little off to this side. Remember, I'm not going too far off to the side. I don't ever want to turn too far profile. I want to make sure that I'm sticking within this 10 to 20 degree window on either side of the camera so that I show my face and especially my eyes for the person viewing for the entirety of my audition. All right, that's about it for this video. I think I've answered the question to the best of my ability. If you have any follow-up questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I hope to see you on set one day.